college redditors. What's the stupidest comment a classmate has ever made during a lecture and pee off the professor? Are cows counted in part of the population? A girl in my history class asked this last year. Completely serious. Our teacher looked like he was in pain after hearing it. I can just imagine the chart listing the distribution of different sections of the population and, towering above the rest, a white column with black splotches. Why didn't the Egyptians just go to Africa and get some slaves to build the pyramids instead of making their own people do it? Wow that's like 3 levels of hilarious. Is Mars red because all of the animals there died? Girl in my introductory astronomy class a few years back. It didn't actually pee off the professor, but he was one of those really enthusiastic types who was on a roll with his lecture at the time, and this question made him stop dead for a few seconds while he tried to collect his thoughts for an answer. How do dogs in other countries function when their owners say things like pelota instead of ball? Like how do they know what a ball is when the owner talks Spanish? Saru weird. What the frick? In the US. History class, we were going over the Minuteman militias, when a hypothetical question was asked if China invades tomorrow would the same percentage of people sign up for an organized militia with full confidence one guy raised his hand and said I'm pretty sure the US has laws against invasion, so they wouldn't be allowed to. I got an eraser thrown at me by trying to answer a question in a computer programming class that I had no business being in. I signed up for basic programming thinking it would be an intro thing to computers, not realizing that BASIC was a programming language. God that sounds hilarious. They should probably put a disclaimer in the syllabus. We were talking about phases of the moon, and our professor said something about the new moon and the full moon. One bright student asked, and I quote, we have two moons? The look of they can't be that stupid and the ensuing conversation was awesome. Made my semester. Oh, we have way more than two. We get a new one every month or so. I just don't think the cloud is safe. What if the weather is bad and you can't access your data? Also of special note is the hipster who started bringing a typewriter to class to take notes. Professor here. I've had students try to pull those sort of look at me stunts in the past. My response is pretty much always. Hey jackass. Put that crap away. Being called a jackass by a 50 year old economist is not the way to build street cred. One time, I wrote that I did something posthumously in a paper for my philosophy class. Now, I know what posthumously means. I was in an intro to music course. We always had a bro type that would fall asleep during class, and the professor would always call on him to answer questions. My favorite was where was Mozart born to which the bro woke up and replied, Michigan. I am willing to bet there is at least one person in Detroit with the name Mozart. Probably drops mad beats too. In biology, discussing plant genetics, Mr. Chamberlain, could I turn into a tornado? Maybe more of a head scratch than getting pee, but I could see the look of disgust, confusion, and annoyance written on his face. WTF. First you stick your arms out, then you start spinning really fast, and then you eat a bunch of sharks. I'm in culinary school and on our egg making day the chef was going through a powerpoint on egg cookery. At the end of the presentation he egghead if we had any questions. One kid raised his hand and asked the immortal question. Chef, what does be you turd mean? Silence. Just stares that could cook the eggs we were using in class. He meant buttered. Needless to say we never let it go. Typical hippie chick on the first day. Is this class going to cover non-western contributions to history? The class was history of western civilization. I can almost hear the audible sigh the professor had to give after they heard her ask that. A guy sitting next to me once asked the political science professor if King John was really threatening to nuke America. Everyone was confused. And so the guy repeated King John a few times but said it more slowly as if we were all idiots. And then finally said you know, the king of North Korea. He thought Kim Jong Un was King John. He thought he was a king named John. Junior took over when King John died. King John died because King John ill. We had a course at the bank I used to work where a colleague of mine always asked stupid questions throughout the class. We were learning to become lenders the best one was at the end of the 4 week class. 
Before the last exam, he raised his hand one last time and asked what a down payment was for a mortgage. The professor made us leave the class so she could talk to him alone as we were all laughing. He didn't show up the next day. Hello and welcome to explanations for the 2008 crash. Once had a fellow classmate come into a biochemistry lecture, quite drunk from a couple of pints at lunch. The lecture was on the reactive oxygen species or ROS to a brev. So within the first 5 minutes of the lecture, the speaker says ROS like 10 times and this squiffy student stand ups and yells I keep hearing you talk about ROS, but what about Rachel? Whole class lost it, lecturer did not. Also, someone else asked if touching to open wounds together would result in both people having AIDS, when neither have it. I was in a pretty higher level aerodynamics course. This particular class, our professor was going over some Fourier series stuff, deriving principles for us. The kind of crap that we would really never understand, but have to learn about anyway. So, the whole class period is spent doing these long, boring derivations. Right at the end, one kid raises his hand the following conversation occurs. Kid up, can you go over that part again? Professor what part specifically? Kid the whole thing. Professor number. During a lecture on the history of the civil rights movement and segregation in South Carolina a student asked something to the effect of why do we have to listen to this liberal nonsense the kid seemed to believe that racial segregation never happened in the south and that democrats made the whole thing up. The professor was on the staff of the governor that pushed for integration and the guest speaker was a civil rights leader who had been beaten and arrested during the sit-ins. So essentially, this person was a segregation denier, like how we have holocaust deniers or moon landing deniers, and just like that, I cannot fathom how someone can even begin to think any of that was made up, what the actual frick, people. The worst I've ever heard was, we should round up all of the illegal immigrants, ship them to the middle east and when they kill 5 terrorists they can have a green card, kid was completely serious and pretty happy that he had solved 2 world problems. Pretty much any statement starting with we should round up, and referring to humans is going to end badly. D Professor, today, just do all the even numbers. Student, just to clarify, those are 2, 4, 6, and 8, right? The professor left. A helpful student said yes, those are the even numbers. What an odd story. I had one of those let's push boundaries advanced writing professors in college that everyone had to eventually take to graduate. I thought he was cool, he was unconventional, a little out there, and definitely exposed me to things and arguments my young mind wouldn't have sought out on my own. Anyway, one day he wanted us to calmly sit and ponder out a question and he liked to do a small chime to relax us. He did this three times and this one girl in class just flipped out saying she didn't believe in some Asian religious BS. He wasn't even Asian, and said she'd call her dad to yell at him. The professor just walked to the door and opened it. He said he didn't have room in his class for close-minded airheads who can't even tolerate things outside their comfort zone. This is the most college moment in this thread. All sex is rape, posited by a middle-aged lady in our criminal law class. In law school, law school, professor quietly had a stroke. Then said that you cannot have a legal regime where everyone is a criminal. He then shook his head in a disappointed fashion, cutting off all further discussion on that theory. Black people should have their own league of sports because they are genetically faster stronger because only the fast strong slaves survived. Sociology 101. The black professor actually stepped outside for a minute before returning and calmly telling her why she was completely wrong. I was once in a sociology 101 class where the teacher was trying to explain that babies are born with the ability to learn a language, not the ability to automatically speak one. A girl raised her hand and said once they did a study where they put a baby in a room and it died. The prof was speechless. Biology teacher asked about the communication techniques of ants. He wanted to know how we thought they communicated the location of a sugar cube to the hive and recruited ants to help carry it. Student raises his hand and says he just goes back to the anthill and says hey, it's over here and they go get it. Teacher responds says how? Student, with words. Teacher, what language do they speak? Student, English. Teacher, so the ant speaks English? 
What does an ant in Mexico speak then? Student. 100% serious. English. It's the language of business. In Spanish class we were learning the difference between conocer, to be familiar with, and saber, to know as a fact. The professor used the example of the city of Boston. You would conosa the city of Boston. You would be familiar with it. You couldn't saber the city of Boston because you would have to know every inch of the city, to know it as a fact. But that can't be done. Matt then said aloud in his perfect Boston accent. Dead serious. Albert Einstein could. He's wicked smart. Earlier this week, our class was forming teams for a programming module. As we would be having scrum meetings, many of us were coming up with witty puns. Scrum 41, scrum of the earth, etc. All very funny, until the prof asks teams for names to put in his spreadsheet and one guy sticks his hand up and proudly proclaims we are the scrum dumpsters we laughed. The lecturer did not. But that's awesome what a bum professor. Psychology professor lecturing about how placebo pills work. Girl, um, yeah, is that like in Space Jam where Michael Jordan gives them the sugar water and they like feel better? Professor, so yeah, I guess it's kind of like that. I've always laughed at this but to her credit it's a perfect example. Like you said, it's not dumb as it's a perfect example. Yeah I can share my story from Tuesday, so there's this really awful kid in my environmental economics class who insists on challenging the professor to seem smart and insightful but really he is a pompous but who needs to get fricked. In a our professor decides we should write our own midterm to demonstrate our understanding of the material and what's important and what we should take away from it. Good idea. Harmless enough right? Nope. In comes a dickbag trying to make a joke and says ha, huh, I wonder what my dad would say if I told him we were paying you to have us do your job. Could have heard a mouse fart after that bombshell. He's also a redditor so I hope he sees this. It wasn't in college, but in middle school. We had this really not very bright girl in our class. I forgot which class it was, but in the book it was talking about some famous Dutch painter I think, and she blurts out, Mrs. Schultz, where exactly is Duck? Needless to say, Mrs. Schultz was confused, as was everyone in the room. We couldn't figure out what she meant, but she couldn't make it any clearer than that. She could only respond to our confusion by repeating herself with this confused look on her face. Finally, she goes where is duck, like where on the map, and it suddenly struck me what she meant. I couldn't help myself. I just burst out laughing my butt off. I mean, I sincerely tried not to laugh, but it just came out. Like I was involuntarily vomiting laughter out of my face. Apparently, she thought that Dutch people come from a country called Duck. Her justification was, well, there's a country called Turkey, so why can't there be one called Duck? I got in trouble for laughing at her. I was taking a marketing class with about 250 people and there was this girl that always had to give her two cents. She would give life stories when asked how is this approach to customers more effective? Anyways, my professor asked if anyone knew what company A did to become so successful. Of course she raises her hand. She gets called upon and pauses for a little bit. Then simply states I don't know. Everyone including the professor is just like WTF haha. It was a very curious moment. We were discussing Shakespeare's Othello, and the differences similarities between Iago and Othello. One chick says I think Iago thinks that Othello slept with his woman, because in the beginning there's some line about Othello stealing Iago's nightcap. The professor just lost it, telling the girl that she didn't know how to read Shakespeare and Othello wouldn't have, etc etc. She tried to say that Othello didn't wouldn't, but the play was about deceptions and unfounded gossip, the professor wouldn't even listen. He was red in the face mad, always felt bad for the girl, she never spoke up again, and it seemed like a dumb thing to just go off on a person for. That professor sounded like a stuck up butthole, if it's a class discussing Shakespeare, I'd imagine the whole point was to learn and understand Shakespeare, why take a class if you already know the subject material. About 5 years ago when I was in college, I was taking a philosophy class. One of the dipshit football players didn't understand the material, stands up, yells frick this class I ain't need an IT and walks out. The professor blew a fricking gasket. This was pretty out of character for a professor I saw that weekend at the movies. Stoned out of his fricking mind. I ain't come here to play school. 
In my Calculus 2 class there was a guy constantly asking stupid questions. One day the professor was writing a simple formula on the board and this guy asks what is that dot between the x and y for the professor replied I feel like telling John and Fred over there to grab you and beat your head against the wall. Maybe they could beat some sense into you. This guy ended up with the highest grade in the class at the end of the semester. Troll level. Idiot savant. In microecon we were talking about supply and demand. The scenario was that there was a frost in Florida so the supply of orange juice went down. A weird guy who was always on his computer not paying attention in the back of a 300 person lecture hall said what if someone likes frosty oranges. Everyone just turned their head in confusion but the professor couldn't understand him so he had to repeat it three times causing even more secondhand embarrassment. In a sociology class my freshman year and the prof is explaining how societies create the standard of homosexuality and how it is arbitrary. That is one culture thinks kissing men is homosexual while another could view it simply as a greeting. This one kid could not wrap his head around the fact that kissing another man on the cheek was not gay. 15 minute argument ensues and this kid is obviously going nowhere quick so finally the prof breaks down and screams. Prof, is it gay to give a hand job? Student. Heck yeah. Are you freaking stupid? Prof. Do you masturbate? Silence. Student. Well frick yeah. Prof. So then you're gay because you give handies. The student becomes so dumbfounded by this petty logic that he just remains silent. Doesn't say crap for at least two more weeks. I think this kid literally began to question if he was homosexual. Well then watching P means I had sex. Let me paint the picture anthropology class. Freshman year of college. Felt very much like community and I loved it. There were some freaking characters in this class. Let me tell you. One girl, we called her melanoma, had an insane orange skin and would try to tell us about how tanning booths made you stronger. Science. There was the, the whisperer who would speak like she had finally convinced a cranky baby to fall asleep and if she woke him up her day would be ruined. Snakeskin wore knee-high cowboy boots and collected swords and talked about the swords more often than anyone was comfortable with. But my favorite classmate was called Leaded Spoons. Leaded Spoons was your typical white guy with dreads at college. We didn't know at the time, but he had failed several semesters this this was his third or fourth junior year. That didn't bother him, he was just L-I-V-I-N. This was a kind of preppy southern school so he definitely stuck out as an oddball. But everyone liked him and he had lots of entertaining stories about taking LSD to share with the class so we were happy to have him among our group of budding anthropologists. One day we were discussing a case study where all of the children in a town were found to have lead poisoning. We had to use our anthropological reasoning skills, i.e. we had to guess, to deduce how they were poisoned. We talked a lot about water quality, the local school grounds, jungle gyms in the park. It was actually a surprisingly intelligent conversation for a bunch of freaking idiots. I include myself in that bunch. You could see leaded spoons had some gears turned. He was twisting his dreads, his brow furrowed, quickly scribbling notes. Suddenly, his hand shot up. The teacher, surprised he would really have anything to add to the discussion called on him. He stood up next to his desk, right at the front of the lecture halls, and said, they were eating off of leaded spoons. He had charts and graphs explaining his conspiracy theory and this baby went all the way to the top. Right up to the president of the goddamn United States of America. After he was finished the teacher said, I, yeah I guess that's also possible. Anyone else have an idea? I heard a rumor that when he finally graduated he cut off one of his dreads and gave it to a girl he liked. But that is unconfirmed. That was a brilliant story. That class could have been a movie. You had the low talker. Joseph and the Technicolor Dream Coat, Agent Orange, the lead singer of Korn, and Medieval Cowboy. You can't make this stuff up. Rape doesn't happen in the US because we are wealthy. If it does happen to because girls are dumb enough to walk down a dark alley wearing skimpy clothing. Class of 4 guys and 20 girls. I'm surprised he made it out of the class alive. He made it out alive because he wasn't wearing skimpy clothing. Duh. In a discrete mathematics course, the professor was going over propositional logic. He was using an example along of the lines of it is raining and it is not raining to show a statement that is always false. One student raised their hand and asked, but what if it is both raining and not raining at the same time the professor gave him the are you retarded look. 
then just said, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That happens sometimes, in some places, like Florida, it can rain 10 feet away and nowhere else. In a world civilizations class, we had times during the class that we would discuss current world events. The topic of the Iraq war came up, and people were having a decent discussion of the topic. Out of the blue, one girl raises her hand and says all of those people are crazy and there's really no sense in trying to help them. I think that we should just nuke the whole place. She was referring the Middle East in general. The whole world would be better off. This obviously took everyone off guard. Our professor quickly responded with something like well, that's an unreasonable response to the situation. Obviously we can't just murder hundreds of thousands of people. She didn't say much after that episode, and everyone pretty much thought she was bat crap crazy after that. That's actually not an unpopular opinion where I live. I go to culinary school, and during one of my lab classes, we were making a roast. My group was awesome. We were all bros except for one girl who obviously didn't want to be there. Like, when we started the class, the five of us got together and delegated everything out so we could get the meal done on time and done correctly. Well she wouldn't offer to do anything until we directly asked her at the end. And even then she would choose the easiest thing that had the least work. But anyways, we had to make a roast. And all the guys and me agreed to make it medium rare because we all liked a little pink in it. Well she ignored us and wouldn't put in and at the end of class when we carved it to eat blood came out over the cutting board like you would expect from a medium rare piece of meat. Well she freaks the frick out and says we can't eat it. I say why as I put a piece in my mouth and eat it. She starts freaking out even more and calls me a cannibal. That's right. Cannibal. So for the rest of the class. The four of us. Plus our 50 year old chef professor were trying to explain to this 20 something old girl that eating meat red does not make you a cannibal. She would not listen to us. Not important to the story but the red juice from meat isn't blood. Which actually would have probably been a good point to make to her. Wait, there are buildings in Africa? Like, actual buildings? I thought everyone lived in huts. My black classmate, to my Nigerian professor, like... Straight up born and raised in Nigeria. I live in Alaska and the amount of people who think I live in an igloo is astonishing. Wait, Rosa Parks was a real person? I know it's an outcast song. Proceeds to sing part of the song. College English class in a very culturally diverse area of the US. I don't know how one could make it at least two decades on the planet without knowing that one. She had some other gems as well. So suffice it to say she was just dumb. To be fair, it is a great outcast song. In American history, 1845 to 1865, we had to read a book written by our professor, who is a very well-known scholar of the Civil War A, race relations, slavery, etc. Anyway, one day, we're discussing one of the chapters, and this kid keeps referring to the slaves described in the book as the dreaded N-word. All of us students are looking at each other like, Holy frick is this happening right now? The professor stops and point blank asks, What do you think you are doing to which this numb nut says what? You refer to them as at all the time in the book. At which point, the professor totally loses it. I am a nationally renowned scholar on the topic and if you actually read the freaking book, you would know that I'm referring to primary sources. I can do that. You cannot. Not to refer to a Leslie Carter song or to face the Carter family's fine name. But I was like... Wow. Upvoting for reminding me that song existed. Graduated already, but in physics, what is the speed of darkness? This makes me think of a Terry Pratchett quote. I can't remember it exactly, but it's something about how light on the disc world is slow because it knows that however fast it goes, darkness will always get there before it. Women can just leave a domestic violence situation and can fight off rapists in a criminal justice class about 3.5 seconds after the female professor gave a passionate speech about all of her friends who have been abused. I cringe hard. We were talking about Ebola in school with some friends and this one girl suddenly asked, Who is Ebola? We all just looked at her and could not believe it, but she seemed to realize so she said, Oh right, you mean this country in Africa, right? She knows now. There was no teacher professor involved, sorry. At least she knew Africa was a continent. 
you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.